dangerous chemicals are we walking around with inside our bodies? For some in our state, it's higher than the national average. It's a major health concern and why researchers are now focusing on Pittsburgh. Tonight, we're digging deeper into why it's so important to get to the bottom of it. For several years now, we've talked about Chemours and its likely responsibility for releasing the chemical compound Gen X into the water and air. The industrial plant sits along the Cape Fear River, which supplies water to communities downstream. Researchers have found that people they've studied in Wilmington have higher levels of PFAS or forever chemicals in their blood than the national average. So we wanted to go upriver and include Pittsburgh in our understanding of PFAS exposure throughout the basin as well as trying to focus on what the potential health effects could be. Duke scientists have found a sample of 49 people in Pittsburgh have the same high rates of forever chemicals in their blood as people in Wilmington. Jane Hoppen and her team at NC State will now conduct a much more extensive study with Pittsburgh volunteers. How is it that these forever chemicals are being found in such levels upstream, including the Hall River area that feeds into the Cape Fear? Since certain PFAS can remain in our system for decades, some of it could have come from manufacturing plants that are long since closed. There's not a lot of furniture textile manufacturing uh, happening anymore, but waste products and discharge to the environment has happened and would continue to wash into the watershed over time. Many of these chemicals were designed to make our lives easier, including everything from nonstick cookware to waterproof gear. But now they've been found to cause thyroid conditions, cancer, high cholesterol, and a decreased immune system now putting COVID into play. And your immune system is responsible for everything. So how you respond to an infection, how you respond to an allergy. And so for COVID, do people have higher PFAS? Are they gonna get sicker when they get COVID? Are they more likely to get long COVID? We, we don't yet know the answers to these questions. Questions that may be easier to answer than find solutions to. So volunteers are needed. If you live in the Pittsburgh area, Chatham County Ag and Conference Center is when this is going to happen, November 13th and 14th, right there on your screen. You're going to be asked to give a blood and urine sample. You'll also get $20 if you do it. We've got specifics on the website to tell you exactly who would qualify, mm -hmm. where you need to get your water from to make sure that you qualify for this. But they really need these volunteers because, you know, we all want to get to the bottom of this. Yes, sir.